Chris, you just look at uh, situations like last night and you think, what is the motivation? Why can they be bothered? How credible was the attack? Uh, what's your take on things? Well, all very dramatic, particularly uh, as it came out live on GB News. Uh, but of course, it was stuff and nonsense, really. This was uh, some a member of a mad, bad and sad community um, walking around London with uh, some shotgun cartridges, which aren't actually even illegal to hold. The, uh, the, the issue is, I think, that the police are at heightened alert. You are going to get a quick response to anything that happens in that area. Uh, and this was dealt with very quickly and effectively. Funny old thing, shark, shotgun cartridges, but the police weren't to know, I suppose, what was in the containers. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. And they're not going to take any chances with it. Uh, the fact that it was blown up was simply just to make sure that there was no uh, proper detonated uh, device inside them. But, uh, you know, you can expect lots and lots of police officers there and that will gradually build up as the, as the uh, week goes on. Uh, and, of course, police will respond. And the, the, the fact that this guy was carrying a knife uh, does cause some uh, cause for concern. But, of course, there are so many people out there, Eamon, that, that want to get on the telly, that want to get themselves famous, that want to do something stupid, that would, uh, would just love to uh, mess up this whole uh, week. Um, also, Chris, I was speaking to some security on the way in. As Eamon mentioned, even tight, and it was extremely tight mm -hmm. yesterday, but it took quite a while for both of us to get in to the site. But I was speaking to security earlier. He said with all the road closures, um, there are a few people, perhaps with mental health issues, who've been moved along from where perhaps they might be rough sleeping and the like. And that is also causing problems, that because everybody's being treated with such suspicion, um, there is people are sort of a little bit on edge at the moment. Yeah, quite natural, really. But uh, you're absolutely right. And this will just gradually ramp up as the week goes on to the big day, of course. Uh, and on the big day, there'll be plenty of people out there that would love to disrupt the coronation. Uh, and that's what the police have really got to work hard to, uh, to try to stop. Um, the, the crowds that are gathering, part of the problem, but they could also be part of the solution, surely, as well, being eyes and ears. Yeah, quite right. And uh, most often um, the, the, the crowd of the people that identify someone that is acting suspiciously, uh, unusually. And of course, there will be uh, plainclothes police officers in amongst the, uh, the crowds as well to pick up people that are acting unusually. Uh, let, let's put it that way, where, where they're not necessarily looking at the things that everyone else is looking at uh, in order to, uh, to stop them and, and before they even get to the point of trying to disrupt.